In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own templates that are filled in automatically and to use for DocuSign. So I'm here in a room. If you're following all of our other videos, we came in here by going to Opportunities, my opportunity here under Documents, and go to Transaction, which is what created my room. Now, you don't create your templates here. So the trick is you come to the upper right hand corner and you're going to switch to the e-signature system. This is where you build those templates to then use for an envelope and e-signature later. So here I am, I'm coming to the DocuSign portion and I'm going to come to templates and create my own. Now this will show me templates of mine. Eventually the office will send me some, so you'll see those here. So for now, I'm going to create my own template. So create your first template. What are you going to call this one? So I will say it is the, uh, what form am I using on this one? It is my, doop, I want wire fraud. That will work. So I'm going to put the wire fraud so it's fillable. So I'm going to say wire fraud disclosure. Disclosure. I can put any notes if I want to. Here's the form. And then I'm going to upload my own document. So here we go. I'm going to come to documents downloads and here is the form I want to add. So I'm going to open that form in here. So here's the PDF. Now it's going to say, okay, what do you want and who do you want to sign? So I'm going to say, okay, role will be who all needs to sign this one. So good news is you can view it. So I need buyer, seller. So I'm going to add both. So I want buyer one to sign. I'm going to add a role of buyer two. Seller one, seller two. See if there's anything else I'm missing on that one. Buyer print name, buyer seller. So they're the only ones signing this. Great, I've got everything ready. So now I would be done with that. I can even have in here an email subject that will automate itself for later. So I'll just leave it as it is. So this is just you preparing what will happen if I ever want to use this template. So I'm going to click next, and this is now going to give me buyer one, buyer two seller one, seller two field. So I'm gonna to come to buyer one first. Notice everything is in yellow. So first thing I need is their name for buyer one. So I'm gonna put buyer one here and there is a box for their name. I'm gonna come in here then and scroll down and we need their signature as well. So I'll say buyer one signature and I'm gonna line it up to be here. So the line is on the line. I'm gonna go ahead and add a date sign field. So when you do this, it will add a date sign. I'm going to put it right here and I'm going to delete this one. So now I've got that first field. So now I'm going to switch to buyer two. So I went ahead and said, okay, I got the name of buyer two. Got it there. I can even do a little text box in the middle and say, put like an and sign there. But for this example, I'll just leave it alone. Delete. So I've got their information and I need their signature as well. Click and put it here so it's similar in lining it. By the way, you can make this larger or smaller if you need to. So I'll make it fit the box a little bit better. Just a smidge. Okay, and I wanna add my date sign. So here's date sign and I'm gonna do the same thing there. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch to the seller one field. So seller one, name, get in the process, add it here. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my signature. So I'm going to say, scroll down, signature for seller one will go here and date signed will go there. Then I'm going to go ahead and switch this over to seller two. So here is the information. I'm going to put seller two's name over here. So there's a little space between them in case it's a long name. And I'm going to go ahead and put in the signature box here. By the way, if you do this and you want to modify it later while you're preparing it to send to the client and you know the name might overfill, it's okay. You can readjust it later as well. This isn't locked. It's just you creating it. So I've got the signature. I'm going to do the date sign. And this form would be done. So I've got all the fields that I need. There's nothing else to do. I just want to make sure they're all been disclosed about this. I've got information on the right. And now when I come here, notice they're going to see a preview. And here's all the people who have to sign. So everyone who has to sign is going to be in a different color. And now that I'm ready, I can save and close this as a template. So now I've created my first template. Now, if I came back to command and I want to add that template to this, I'm going to come here and go to the room. So I'm doing that by clicking that button. I'm going to create a new envelope because that's how you do this to get to your template. Because you'll notice under new, 
well, let me go back. <laughs> Under documents, when I click the add button, there's no templates here. It's just going to be the stuff that I'm using. So I'm going to come here to the envelope to do that. So you're going to create a new envelope. I've already got my stuff here. So I'm going to come use a template and there's my template. Add selected. It is going to auto update with the information I put. So here is the form. I can preview it here and see, okay, that's the right one. I'm going to go ahead and say, please DocuSign, 123 Main Street, wire fraud. I'm going to add my recipient. So now I'm going to go to the pre-toggled roles and I've got buyer one, buyer two, seller one, seller two. So I'm going to do the sellers. I've got Cinderella as seller one and I've got Prince Charming as seller two. Add selected. I could do my signature, what I want in my email subject, I mean. So please DocuSign, 123 Main Street, wire fraud disclosure. Please sign. And now I'm ready to get to the editor of the signatures. When I click next, this is where you're going to see it automatically has all those boxes. Now it will only show the ones that I've assigned a role to. So if I didn't assign a role to buyer one, buyer two, the signatures won't show here. If I had buyer one and buyer two, it would. So there's the box for full name. Cinderella is in yellow and Prince is in blue. If I scroll down, here are their signatures. You can even preview this as them. So if I come here to recipient preview, I have this already. Do, do, do. It's starting with Cinderella. So Cinderella, here's what she's going to look like when she signs. She clicks start. Here's her first box. Because remember, it auto filled in her name, Cinderella Rella, and her signature and the date and timestamp right there. So that's the first one. And I can switch this over to Prince Charming as well. So Prince Charming is going to pull up. Here his is. I'm going to say start. There's his signature box, and that's what it's going to look like for him. Now, I did notice here you got date and time, and it shows as MDT for Mountain Standard Time. So you're going to want to go into settings and modify that to your correct time zone. And if I was ready and this was all done, I would just hit the send button. So for this example, I'll go ahead and send it. And that's it. That's how easy it is to send over. Um, let me come over to DocuSign templates again, and I would say we have to come to your profile here under settings and we're going to fix our time zone issue okay I've got it there I'm gonna say address and phone I can put those in there all right password connected app signatures here's the ones that I can use these are some test ones so just showing you there and language and region there it is that's the issue I'm gonna switch the region to da -da -da. Use my computers when sending. It's so weird that it did that. So I'm going to choose Eastern Time. I'm okay with that date and format. That's fine. Uh, I like that one better. And save. So now when I do those signatures, it will be in Eastern Time or wherever your time zone is, and you fix it there. So this is how you manage your signature, or if you want to fix your signature anyway, you do it from the DocuSign settings, not the room. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on Cable Connect or YouTube today.